this morning I woke up to the news that uh, an earthquake shook up Japan and uh, the resultant tsunami did some horrific damage. I saw a video on that and uh, it's uh, rather uh, devastating hit. However, this came some years after the Kobe uh, incident in which um, some of the landed reclaimed from the sea were sort of uh, retreated um, and the highways and overpass collapsed and so on. I'm not sure which one is worse, but uh, I'm wondering uh, if with all the Japanese smarts and technology and all that, if they can't find a way to stop earthquakes and the tsunamis. Maybe if they had a, a seawall that was working with computers, that as soon as uh, they feel a shake-up, um, it has shocks and everything, so it wouldn't get affected by the earthquake. You just raise it high enough, you know what I mean, around the island, so that um, they could save themselves. Or perhaps uh, if they could um, drive some piles down in the earth and then and, uh, and give the, uh, the fault a little foundation, as it were, or drive something horizontal through it and, and, and put it together. You know, I mean, Japan's supposed to come with something. But, uh, I mean, the world seems to be reeling with the various uh, natural disasters, and they're saying, oh, Lord, God is, God is bad. No, this ain't God yet. This is just Satan um, paying back some of these folks who are the evil that they're putting onto the world. Um, I know Japan uh, is a very opulent nation. You know, they, of course, uh, copied everything in the West had, and they sold it, and they did a lot. Um, they made a lot of money. Uh, I remember the sixties when they came out to buy two and get one free, or buy one and get two free, two buy one get the next one free or something like that. And they dumped stuff out here and, and, and they took off. And um, I don't know. I mean, could this be taking back some of that stuff that went on? You know. So um, when God comes on later, I, I think He's going to come on with basically um, the fire, He's going to purify this earth. And so on, but all the rest of the stuff that happening, I think, is Satan. And uh, as you watch the world today, it's becoming more and more evil. And folks not stopping to understand that this devil that they're trying to serve and, and trying to please and trying to let them, uh, let them give them big positions and so forth. He's not interested in their well-being. He wants to hurt them big time. Look, Haiti. Haiti didn't even make a move yet to recover from that earthquake. By the way, being in Puerto Rico, I better come up with some plan where we could have them out in Puerto Rico, up in Haiti. So after my world infrastructure uh, conference I shall focus on how we could help Haiti to move forward but be careful how you, you, you court an evil world because uh, the result is so devastating and uh, of course I give my condolences to uh, the folks in Japan and uh, New Zealand and so on and I hope that um, you know the next nation that get knocked up um, you know just maybe a little knock up and not necessarily damage it and kill a whole bunch of people because this thing is going to keep on going on. We had Haiti first, and then we had Chile, and then we had all these people in New Zealand twice, and so on, and things just going around. So, uh, you know, just be prepared. When things happen, don't lose your mind. Don't give up. You know, just keep going.